May the 4th be with you. Hi, we just released 2Sexy16 LTS and it's May the 4th. So you might have been expecting Obi-Wan Kenobi, but I'm Daniel 2Sexy and I'm going to be showing you what we did with Vorm formulas in version 2 because this is quite amazing. We've been working on this for months and I'd like to show you everything that we did. So just so you have an idea um, what formulas are, Normally, if you have a normal input form like this, you can type stuff and do things like that, but the form doesn't change. It doesn't show new hints, it doesn't show or hide fields, and to do that, you need forms, I mean formulas. So, here's an example of the views. This is one of the places that uses them extensively. If you create a new view, you'll see that typically you don't see much, so it guides the user through it. As soon as I give it a name, just as an example, new things appear. This is now red. I pick something, but there's so much more. For example, if I toggle something, the title might change. If I choose other values, things might change. So formulas are here to modify the UI according to your needs so the user knows what's going on or can do things better or you can get data from the back end. The basics have been available for about two years now. And with version two, we've done a dramatic improvement. So what we're gonna look at today is the razor tutorials um, I'll show you the address right below now this is where you can see everything live these are real formulas that are running and they're on the public website so it's really just really the formulas if you scroll down here there's a lot of tutorials we will get to here and here's a basic explanation of how getting how to get started but just so you have an idea here's an example you type something something new appears Right now in the formula in the, in the tutorials, you can always go look at what the formula does and actually how it's written. This is live. And let me just show you briefly, if you've never done this before, how you get there here, I'm not logged <coughs> on. So I don't have a lot of features. I cannot access the formula designer, but here I have another example where I can access the formula designer because I'm logged in. And if you are a super user, you can do control alt shift click and you will go into developer mode and you can then go to the formula and start editing formulas for every field and every property that can have a formula so that's basically how it works okay so one of the awesome new features in version 2 is that we have intellisense so just as an example i can mouse over fetch json and i can now see what i could do with it or <coughs> pardon i can mouse over for example, the function call and see what kind of return values are possible. And for example, if I go to data and hit a dot here, I can see what fields are available in the form that I could read out. So this is like one of the new major advancements. It makes working with formulas so much easier because you can discover what is possible while you're doing things, right? If you write context dot something, you can now see, oh, there's, for example, I could know target information and all this is just built in now. Previously, you always had to check out the documentations to see what's going on. So that's feature number one. Now, I'd just like to show you a very few things that we added. So our first formulas, I'm gonna use the live tutorial here to make it easier for you to follow and to just try it out yourself. Um, for example, uh, here's a formula that just combines the value of two fields, like it will combine the country and the language. And so if I click on this, you will see I type in something here, I type in Switzerland, I choose a language, and it generates a key based on that. That's a simple example. One feature that's completely new is that you can have a formula which affects other fields. So I'll type something into here, and now it's gonna modify the other fields. So here's the difference. Previously, you would make a formula on slave one, which would pick up the value, a formula on slave two, which would pick up the value, and you can still continue to do that. But there are cases like where you're doing web API calls where you might want to do the call and then spread the effect or where you pick something in a dropdown and that should reset another value. So far, that was difficult to do. Now you can have a formula in here. Let's have a quick peek uh, what that looks like, um, which is going to let you actually set other fields. So if we check this out here, we're actually returning an object with references to other fields to be filled. So that's one of the, the new great features that we built in. Another thing that is completely new 
is, let's go to the next example. On the formulas for dropdowns, here's an example with Web API. Now, Web APIs have a problem because they're a promise, they're async. So that means when the formula completes, the result isn't here yet. But we've dramatically improved the API that you can now just return a promise. And the promise will, in this case, just return the lines that should be in the dropdown. And so in the background, I'm gonna do a Web API call and get these values directly from the Web API. This was possible before, but it was really difficult. We needed at least 10 more lines of code to make this happen. Then, what I'd like to show you next, there's of course examples here with enable, disable, but this one's pretty neat. One of the new features is that you can make formulas that show warnings. For example, I type something small, this is okay. But maybe I could type something big, but it's not recommended. I can now <laughs> write, <coughs> pardon, formulas that will allow you to show errors or warnings depending on the input, like in this case, making it better for you to guide the user. What's also new, uh, here I believe everything, just so you know, all the formulas here were now updated to version two. So just so you see that, you always see a V2 and that arrow function, that's what the version two looks like. And so just check out these tutorials there's a blog post about everything and a lot of documentation. The next short sample just shows you how to run a formula, for example, just once. In this example here, if we look at the formula, it doesn't just return the value, it also returns a stop true. This is great for doing something only the first time the form opens or to prevent the formula from running after condition has been okay. You can see now it's closed. If I open this and close this a few times because there's just a random value that's being checked, it's gonna be, it's closed now most of the time. There we go, now it's open. So that's another great <clears throat> way to stop formulas. Before again, this was much more difficult. So get started with formulas right away. Here's a link for you to continue. There's a guide there to get started, to do everything. Check out the tutorials and enjoy. Thank you for watching and may the fourth be with you.